picking one text that resonates from Rabbi Dr. Heschel is a hard task. Uh, Rabbi Heschel has been so prolific and has uh, spoken and written so much. But if I had to, um, I would pick his um, biography of Kutsk as one of the texts of Rabbi Dr. Heschel that speaks to me most, because um, as we all know, the old adage, um, every biography is really autobiography. And when Rabbi Dr. Heschel emphasizes what he sees about Kutsk. Beneath the surface, one can see also what Rabbi Heschel himself was about. Uh, and there, one gets a sense of how much Hasidus was pulsating throughout his uh, veins and throughout his passion, because um, his encounter with the world, his encounter with the secular world, with the modern world, uh, was deeply informed by Hasidut. And that deeply resonates for me, because um, for many of us in the modern Orthodox world, um, we're first and foremost Orthodox, and modernity is there as a means to infuse and to enrich our Orthodoxy. Uh, given my own Hasidic upbringing, um, I actually kind of see them slightly different in the sense that uh, modernity is not merely a means. Uh, modernity is an end of itself. Uh, as a Hasid, I believe that there is a Chalak al imal in everybody and in everything. And therefore, I see Kedusha in every man, every woman, Jew, non-Jew. Uh, and the same is with um, cultural um, opportunities out there in the world. One can find Kedusha in a uh, play, in a musical, in a movie, in a dance, uh, in a novel, and so on and so forth. And um, even more so, um, part of my drive to create a optimally inclusive orthodoxy uh, within the boundaries of halacha is informed by that very same passion um, and that same belief that there is kedusha in everybody, every man, every woman, every Jew, every non-Jew, regardless of their um, gender or orientation. Uh, and therefore, uh, I'm dedicated. My I've dedicated myself to bringing in within the Orthodox and halachic um, field as many people as possible because of that belief that there is a chalak al imal in everybody. And um, my greatest inspiration is Rabbi Dr. Heschel. Um, it is no doubt to me that when we look at Dr. Heschel's uh, life and we see him being um, someone who uh, doesn't necessarily act like a conventional Hasid, he marches to Salem, uh, he marches with uh, Martin Luther King, um, and there's no doubt that for him uh, that was greatly influenced by his Hasidic um, heritage that believed that there's Kedusha and everybody and that um, regardless of race, gender and orientation, there's something Kedusha and something holy. And in fact, he said so much in his famous quote uh, where he said, for many of us, the march from Selma to Montgomery was about protest and prayer. Right? He combines the two. It's protest, but it's also something sacred and something uh, transcendental. Legs are not lips and walking is not kneeling. And yet our legs uttered songs. Even without words, our march was wor worship. I felt my legs were praying. And my hope is now that we are reflecting on the legacy of Rav, Rabbi Avram Yeshua Heschel is that more of us within the observant and the Orthodox community will uh, be exposed to that Torah because really that Torah is a incredibly uh, important Torah that would help enrich um, our Avodah Hashem, particularly for those of us who operate in this kind of dual world of Orthodoxy and modernity. Zecher Tzadik Libracha.